go. Hey friends, hope you're all doing well. It's Christina and today I'm going to teach you how to uh, do canoeing. So what you first need is a life jacket because safety first. And most life jackets have three buckles on them. So what you want to do is you want to make sure you buckle all three of them. And if it's too loose, you can always tighten it. Sorry uh, if you can hear some uh, crying in the background. That's my special co-host today. Secondly, you need sunscreen because if you're as fair as I am, we all know people could burn easily. So sunscreen, which I already applied mine. A first aid kit. Uh, what you want to have in here are uh, some band-aids, um, maybe some Tylenol if you're getting a headache from your dog screaming, stuff like that. A towel in case you happen to go in and get wet. A paddle because how else would you canoe without a paddle? And you need a canoe. And last but not least, you need your special sidekick. As you all remember from a video I did back in March, this is Toby. Toby is going to be canoeing with me. And uh, yeah, in a little bit, we'll get out on the water and we'll go from there. Sarah here is going to demonstrate how you use the canoe paddle properly. All right, so take one hand, you put it on top like that. You don't want it like that, otherwise you're doing all funny. One on top, one part way down, and then you put the paddle in, back. Paddle in, back. Mush. Mush. <laughs> that is not technically, and if you need to switch sides, you put your other hand on top, other one down here, paddle in, 90 degree angle, pull back. And y'all mush. 90 degree angle, pull back. And then you say, hey front person, you want to paddle too? And the front person says, nope, I'm good. <laughs> And if you're the only one paddling, you can do a J stroke where you put in, and then you're gonna twist to the side. That way you keep going straight in, twist to the side. Okay, thanks Laura. You're welcome. Bye. Bye. Hi again everybody. I'm back in the canoe with my wonderful sidekick Toby here and my co-pilot Laura. Say hi Laura. Hi. And uh, right now we are over by, uh, where are we again? Color Park, um, which is pretty close to Anger. Um, and right now we're just kind of floating on the water. Um, so one thing that you want to be uh, careful about when you're canoeing is when you're stepping into the canoe, uh, you want to get your footing kind of in the middle on the seam so that you don't accidentally tip the canoe, um, like I almost did before we got in. And uh, Again, you want to make sure that you're wearing your life jacket at all times because, because safety is number one out on the water. Um, you also want to make sure that you always have an adult with you at all times while you're doing this. And uh, yeah, it's a lovely day outside, um, which is really nice. And uh, as you can see, Toby is really enjoying it. He's not doing any work. He's just currently sitting on my lap um, enjoying the view and uh, yeah I, I hope that when you guys go out and do this with your parents and your friends uh, that you remember to have fun always and just enjoy it and I hope you guys have a good weekend and uh, we'll see you again real soon take care bye so some of the things you need for your canoe trip are sunscreen Uh, first aid kit <laughs> and a paddle and so something you want to remember to do when bringing your canoe down to the water is making sure that you have a rope at at least one end so that you can pull it down and I'm gonna have my assistant do that
whoa, 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 whoa. Okay, you also want to make sure that your assistant has a good grip on the canoe so that you don't get very hurt in the process. Safety first, kids. And here on our canoeing adventure, we spotted a family of geese. We have mom and dad and the two little babies. Someone's keeping watch out and someone's tending to the chicks. <laughs>